In this video, we're going to go over the Inksonic C13A DTF printer, and we are going to be bringing our design into the RIP software and then getting it pressed. Here is a design that I have been working on in Canva that I am going to be taking into my Inksonic uh, software, into my RIP software. So there's a couple things on here yet that I want to clean up. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to edit this alligator here. There's a little bit that I found that I want to clean up here. So I'm going to go into my magic eraser. I have the Canva Pro account. So as you can see here, it kind of looks like he has two tails. So I'm going to just clean this up ever so slightly here. And then by his nose here, there were just a couple little spots here that I'm going to clean up as well. So I'm going to erase this and see how it looks now. Get back to our canvas. And I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's much better. So there's still a spot here by his nose, but I think we're good enough. So what I'm going to do here now is I am going to save this. Um, let me lighten this color up a little bit here. Um, I'll maybe go with a lighter green color here. Uh, just so it shows up better on my shirt because I am using a dark shirt. So I am going to download this now. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to do a transparent background. I'm going to raise my DPI up because like I said, I do have the pro account so that I can do that here. So I'm going to download this and then I'm going to go into my RIP software here. And I have one in here now, but I don't like the colors and I had to touch it up a little bit. So I'm going to go see if my download is ready here. Get in here to my downloads. And it is. So let's go back here and insert our image. So I'm going to go to image here and I'm going to insert this. And then I am going to just shrink this up and fit it on our page here. Get it right in the center here. I want it to be um, close to 10 inches by 10 inches. And so that's what I have here. And so now I am going to hit control P so that we can see now that you can see that it, it rotates it, it reverses it. So I'm gonna hit print and I'm gonna get this started. And here you can see that that started up right away for our alligator alligator print. And so I'll keep an eye on this and check back frequently for you. And then we'll go from there. So now you can see the colors starting to come and it's putting on the white coating on the back as well. So I'll keep checking back in. So while this is printing, I am getting my DTF powder in my pan and ready to go on my print. And now I'm getting the oven ready. I'm going to be curing this at 160 degrees Celsius for 70 seconds. And here is my oven heating up and here's the drawer that we are going to be putting the print in. Beautiful colors are really coming through. Our design is almost complete. All right, so I've got it cut out and I'm going to run it through my powder here. I'm gonna need both hands for this, so I'll be right back. So you wanna be sure that you get a good coating of the DTF transfer powder on and then you want to be sure to tap it off. Now we're going to put it in our oven for 70 seconds. So here is the side that is going to go down in the oven because we want this white side with the coating on it up. And here is our DTF film right out of the oven. So I let it cool down a little bit here so that I could touch it. And now after I get my shirt pre-pressed, I'll get this on. 
I am using a 100% cotton shirt, so I'm going to pre-press this. And then I am going to press the DTF image on 360 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds. I like to trim my image down just so that there isn't any extra on anything that's going to press onto the shirt. So we're ready to go. So I think I've got this centered on there pretty good. So I am going to press this for 360 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds. And here it is right after pressing. Now I am going to let this cool down because this Ink Sonic film is a cool peel. And here is our finished print. I actually did two DTF prints. I did one on the black and one on the gray. The only difference is the words on the bottom are a different color. So I am very happy with how these turned out. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think. If you're looking to get started in a DTF printing business, this C13A Ink Sonic DTF printer setup is a great choice. From start to finish, you have the oven, you have the heat press, the powder, the ink, easy setup, low cost, smart RIP software, it has three and white ink system and moisturizing devices. It is convenient with the built in cutter for your projects and it has great customer support. Not to mention the multitude of things that you can use this on cotton, polyester, leather, denim, athletic mesh, handbags, hats, t shirts, colors, everything that you need is in this kit to get you started in your new DTF printing system. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. See links below and leave me a comment.